Oh, hello, cat. And what mischief blows in with you, eh? Ah, you brought a new friend. Welcome, stranger. Please do come in. Warm your bones a spell by the fire. Yes, yes. Not many a stranger darken my door these days. But every so often, a visitor comes. And then they go. <laughs> I say, stranger, is that a video camera? Oh, no, no, no filming in here, please. I'm hardly camera ready. Here, film Cat. She loves the spotlight. Oh, do that new trick we've been practicing. They'll love it. Ah, persnickety little devil. She's never this shy. Come on, Cat. Don't let stage fright get the best of you. Do the trick. Ah, <laughs> fine. You'll have to forgive Cat. She's a bit of a prima donna. <laughs> yes, yes. If you'll give me just a moment, I'm trying to inform. Right. Cat would like for you to know that she will be ready to perform shortly. Just keep the camera rolling. Right. Uh, well, stranger, uh, why don't we take five and have a seat? Ah, yes. Mm, the silver screen. I see that filmmakers are still ambitiously foolish about finding that perfect shot, perfect location, that perfect story. Mm, yes, yes. Hounds of hell ye are. A willingness to do anything for it. The vision, that is. You know, I'm somewhat of a storyteller myself. How about I regale you with the tale? I know the perfect one. Are you sure this is the right place? It must be. There aren't any other roads for at least seven miles. How'd you even find this place? This might surprise you, Carp, but the internet isn't just for porn anymore. Someone's coming, Nicholas. Ah, see? I knew we were in the right place. I need as much time as possible to walk the space before the actors get here, so we can discuss shots. You in a movie group that's in my town? Yes, sir. My name is Nicholas. I believe we spoke on the phone. A pleasure to meet you. Right. So this is my AD, Angie Reynolds. That's my DP, Marie Macedo. And this is my brother, Hanson. Uh... Ghost town is two fifty a day, 500 deposit. First and last day due today. Rest when you're done. You didn't tell me there was a $500 deposit? That puts us over budget. It's fine. It's refundable. Just pay the man, Carp. That'll do. Straight up that road by a mile, y'all do what you're gonna do. I own the motel about nine miles out of way if y'all need a place to sleep the night. If you make it that long, it is. <laughs> we have night shots, so we're just gonna camp out here, if that's all right. Uh, suit yourselves. One of us has to stay and wait for the actors. Would you mind taking us up there? Friendly. Reminds me of my dad. Why? Because he left? Eat me. You two flirt later. We have work to do. Right. Let's head out. Hold on, Carp. One of us has to wait here for the actors. Oh, come on. Why do I have to be the one- Because the three of us need to discuss shots and you're the PA. Nick! Don't worry. They're set to start arriving in an hour. Just wait till they're all here, get them to sign the releases, and bring them up. Nick! You got this, bro. Let's make a movie! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hey there! 
You here for the film? Yes, sir. I'm Daisy Cooper. I'm Hanson, production assistant. Everyone calls me Carp. You're the last one to arrive. If you'll just follow the other two cars there, we just need to head straight up that road. Sounds good. Do you mind if I ride with you? The rest of the crew is already up there. Climb aboard. Thanks. All right, head on up. Nikki! All present and accounted for. Nikki? Y'all can just hang out here for a second. I'll, I'll go see where they want us. Nikki! Hey there, I'm Oren Whitehall, and this is my girlfriend, Trisha. Daisy Cooper. Have we met before? You look familiar. I think we were on a set together for that cheaper copper thing last year. Oh, that's right. You were... Victim number three. You were Valentina, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, do you know if that thing ever got released? Not sure. Most of these indie things I never hear anything about after they're done with me. Well, let's hope this one's different, right? Do either of you know the quiet guy? That's Levi Hewitt. He's like the go-to guy of local actors. I've worked with him twice. Four times for me. Come on, let's see if he wants to run lines. Hey there, Levi. I, I don't know if you remember me. Of course I do. It's Trisha, right? And Daisy? Don't think I've had the pleasure. Hey there, I'm Oren. I'm kind of new to this whole thing. Well, welcome. Any of you worked with this crew before? Nope. First time. Uh, if nothing else, this thing will have some nice production quality. Just look at this place. Yeah, it's pretty cool. When I found out we were shooting here, I googled the address. It's an authentic, historical ghost town. I believe it. Surprised it's still standing. It was pretty neat, actually. Yeah, let me show you. Shoot, no sin. <sighs> so... Uh, I can't find the crew. Seriously? Yeah. I mean, they gotta be somewhere. Tell you what, uh, let's get you all settled. We can start getting you into makeup and costume while I try to figure out where they ran off to. Sound good? Okay. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Lead the way. Great. If you'll grab your stuff, you can follow me. So it's supposed to be like really cornball. All right. You really think you can outdraw me? Reckon I might be able to. Don't, don't do it, Sammy. Don't do it, Sammy. He'll put a bullet between your eyes before you even blink. I gotta try. We can't just let him walk all over this town forever. That's great. Then Trisha says, how about a wager then? I take a pause and down a shot of whiskey. Then I say, oh, what do I say? I wager you're getting in over your head. Right, right. Uh, I hate dropping lines. You're doing fine. You get in your head and it's just going to make things worse. You're right. <sighs> All right, let's go again from the top. Hey, man. You ready for us? I wish. I still can't find anyone. What? For real, it's been like 30 minutes. I know. It's not like this town's that big. I, I can't explain it. They're just gone. Maybe... They went back in the town for supplies. I don't see how. There's only one road in and out of this place, and both of their trucks and all the equipment is still here. Well, you're the PA. What do you want us to do? <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to keep wasting your time, but I just don't know. You mind hanging around for at least another 30 minutes? I mean, you've got me for the full day, so I'm good. What about you all? I mean, it's kind of all or nothing, right? Either we all stay or we all go. Trisha's still changing. Uh, I'll go see what she wants to do. So there's no sign of them? This normal for this crew? No. I'm a little worried, actually. Nicholas, he's the writer-director and also my brother. He's never done anything like this before. Hey, did any of you see where Trisha went? She's in the restroom getting into costume. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I just checked and the bathroom is empty. That doesn't make any sense. I left her in there changing. Well... She's not there now. That's crazy. One of us would have seen her leave. Um, oh, what was your name, man? Hanson. But you can call me Carp. Everyone does. Okay. Carp? 
Uh, where the heck is my girlfriend? Yeah, I have to say, Carp, this is starting to make me pretty uncomfortable. Hey man, I don't know. I'm just as clueless as the rest of you. Wait a minute. I get it. I know what's going on here. Don't you get it? What? This isn't a western. It's one of those found footage type deals. Like what they did with the Blair Witch guys a few years ago. That true, Carp? There's some kind of hidden camera thing? No. At least, I don't think so. It's gotta be. She's probably in on it. Snuck past us, or out through a hidden compartment or something. This doesn't sound like something Trisha would- oh. Ah. oh, very nice. Now that's what I call production quality. How'd you make the chair fall over, huh? Hmm. No strings, magnets. It's magnets, isn't it? Carp, what is going on? I promise I have no idea. Maybe we should go after all. I'm not leaving without Trisha. Daisy, what about you? I can't leave now. You know how big a hit Blair Witch was? This could really help my career. Suit yourself. What about you? I'm not leaving without my brother. Besides, he has the keys to the truck. All right. Well, I hope they turn up. Do you want me to send anyone when I get somewhere with a cell signal, police, or anything? No, uh, not yet at least. Uh, we'll search the town with Carp one more time. Then, if we still can't find them, we'll head down to the highway and, and call for help. Sounds good. It was nice meeting you all. If this production gets back on track, feel free to give me a call. Thanks, Levi. Oh, uh, nice meeting you. Bye. Carp, you want to walk us around town? Nicholas! You look worried. This place gives me the creeps. It's all a trick. Movie magic, you'll see. If that's the case, aren't you ruining the film by commenting that it's a film? No, that's what editing is for. So how long have you and Trisha been together? About uh, four months. I, I moved here from Florida back in February. Met Trisha at an industry mixer and she offered to show me around. Two weeks later, I ran into her on set and asked her out. She seems nice. She, she is. Well, that's this street. What's left? Just those buildings over there. I appreciate you guys looking with me. If I was stuck here alone, I think I'd lose my... Now who the heck is that? Where? Over in the cemetery. Oh, I see him. Hey, we were getting worried. He's not one of your crew? None of them would be in costume. Daisy, I think we should go. Look, he sees us. He's coming to talk to us. Daisy, he's not with the movie. He could be a serial killer for all we know. Don't be ridiculous. Where'd he go? What? She's right. He's gone. That's Im impossible. He was in the middle of the street. We looked away for a second. That was impressive. You guys really believe in practical effects, huh? I am rethinking so many of my life choices right now. Come on, let's check out those last buildings. Uh, hey, what's this about? What did you find? It's carved into this post. It says... Hunger. That's left over from when the town was abandoned. What do you mean? Am I seriously the only one that Googled this place? Humor me, all right? Uh, okay, this town is called Little Tooth. In 1867, a supply wagon was coming through and found the town abandoned. The whole town, about 82 people, had disappeared, vanished. What happened to them? Nobody knows. Some people think maybe Native Americans attacked. Other people think the town was evacuated because it was being terrorized by Billy Black and his gang. N nobody ever found them? They, they didn't leave any letters or notes behind for their relatives? Nope. Just a few posts around town with the words hunger carved into them. Some people think a famine hit the town and the people left before they stopped. But most of the pantries were well stocked. Sounds like the Roanoke mystery to me. Same thing happened to them. A whole colony in North Carolina vanished overnight. All they found was the word Croatian carved into a tree. I'm, I'm liking this less and less. Maybe we should leave, come back with police? Levi's got that covered. I hate to seem selfish, but could we grab something to eat while we wait? I had to leave so early I didn't get breakfast. I, I have to admit, I'm a, I'm a little hungry myself. Um, you guys said you were providing breakfast and, and lunch, so I, I, I didn't eat either. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't even thinking about that. We have a load of stuff back at the holding area. We can grab a bite to eat while we wait. So, how'd you get into making films, Carp? Never mind that. How'd you get a nickname like Carp? It's not the fish, if that's what you're thinking. My mom used to think I complained a lot. She would always say how much I would carp on every little thing. Of course, my brother found it hilarious, so... 
And as far as making movies, well, I like to write, Nicholas likes to shoot. Hey, is that Levi's car? Yeah, it is. Why is he still here? Maybe he's still packing up? The car's been on a while. The inside's quite a bit cooler than it is out here. Maybe he forgot something and came back. Maybe? Levi? Levi? Daisy, where, where are you going? Daisy! I'm going to look for Levi. Levi! I, I don't think we should split. I'll be right back. Levi! <sighs> Over carp. Daisy! You okay, Daisy? She just walked right through me. I I walked in, stopped to look around for Levi. A second later, this person, this this woman, walked right through me. She walked through you? Yes, I'm telling you. She stepped right through me. I could see right through her. Okay, um, where did she go? She stopped right in front of me, started turning around, and disappeared. I'm not lying. We need to go. This ghost town is actually a ghost town. I need to go. Right now. I'm in complete agreement with you. What about the others? Whatever is going on, we need help to deal with it. Let's put some distance between us and this place, and we'll figure it out. Come on. The hell? That wasn't there a minute ago. Someone wrote the word run on the ground while we were inside. That they did. Should we all go together or take our own cars? Nicholas has my keys. Can I tag along with one of you? We can all take my car. The keys are inside my bag. I'll get them. Do you really think the others are okay? I hope so. Come on, where are you? Are you okay in there? I can't find your bag! It's on the back of the chair. Come on, keys, keys, keys. Keys! Whoa! Nicholas? I can see through you. Why can I see through you? You look like you're talking, but I can't hear you. What are you trying to tell me? Heard. I got him! It's about time. I can't wait to get away from this place. Where'd he go? Huh? Cop, he's gone. I looked away when I got in the car and I looked back and he was just gone. No, 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 come on. What the heck is going on here? He's ten feet away from us. Where could he have gone? We never should have stayed. Let's just get out of here. We can't. Cop had the keys. <sighs> it's been an hour. How long are we just going to sit in the car not saying anything? Do you think anyone will come for us? We're not going to disappear. Everyone else has. My keys are still inside. I, I can go get them. In and out. 30 seconds. That's all I need. We've been over this. I'm not setting one foot outside of this car. We can't just sit here. I'm not leaving this car. I, I could go. Please don't leave me alone. All right. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> this is going to be my first Western. First time as a lead, actually. I did a number of short films in Florida, but I was always background. Had a couple of lines here and there. I was going to be a featured extra in a major film, but my scenes got cut. You know what my day job is? Fraud detection. I examine transaction histories and listen to people talk about how they got lied to and how people took them for their life savings. That's why I like doing film work. Not because I want to get famous. I, I just want to tell good lies. Lies that entertain people. I had a drama teacher in high school, Mr. Jeffries. He always said that the point of acting was to tell a lie the audience wants to believe. That an acting lie gives the audience something instead of taking something away from them. I don't know why, but I always liked the sound of that. Why did you get into acting? Daisy? Daisy? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Nothing to lose now, I suppose. Okay. Orin, you can do this. Run inside, grab the keys off the table, get in your car, get the hell out of Dodge. You can do this. Oh, and there's our ghost cowboy. It's okay, Orin. He's at the other end of the street. Quietly, 
He doesn't see you. He doesn't know you're here. He doesn't see you. Crap. Okay. He sees you. How did... Where did the daylight go? Where's... The sun... Where's the sun? I... He's waking up. Trisha? Trisha! I was so worried about you! Shh! You have to be quiet. Why? Why? What's going on? What, hap what happened to you? We're not sure. Where, where did you go? We're in the dressing room, and, and when I went to get you, well, you'd vanished. I don't know what happened. I, I felt faint, and, and then when I woke up, it was night. I went to find you, but you couldn't see me. You couldn't hear me. I, I reached out for you, but my hand went right through you, like you were a ghost. Similar things happen to all of us. I'm Marie. The DP? That's Nicholas. I think you already know Daisy and Carp. One moment we were fine. The next, it was night and none of you could hear us. I, 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 I don't understand. None of us do. Will you guys be quiet? Why are, why are we being quiet? Would you just shut your damn mouth before hey, you- Hey, just calm down, man. I got this. You'll have to forgive Nick. His uh, girlfriend, Angie, was killed by something. S something? We're not really sure what they are. Since it went dark, we've seen these- Things. They're like living black smoke mixed with black ash. Like you get when you burn paper. Angie, she... <laughs> Angie got too close to one of them. She touched it, and it was like it crawled up her arm. It engulfed her. It was... was... It burned the life right out of her. There was nothing left of her. <laughs> it's okay, man. It'll be okay. Um... Sorry about your girl. After what happened to Angie, we tried to warn you guys to get out of here. The message that said run, that was them. So where's Daisy and, and Levi? Are, 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 they, are they here too? The cowboys got them. <laughs> More than one. You stay the hell back. Calm yourself, boy. I ain't meaning to hurt you none. Yeah, that's what the other guy said. Look it, you lot need to come with old Billy if you want to keep him. <laughs> Go run! Come on, run! Where, where are we going? We gotta hide. Come on. Harp! Let's go, run! There! Come on! Is he following us? Wait. He's going the other way? Marie! Oh god! It cut my arm! Get it off me, Carl! I, I don't know how! Help me, please! I'm trying! Oh, Carl! Pull! Keep pulling! Please, you're hurt! It's wrapping around her waist! <laughs> Too late. There's more of them coming. We've got to go. I think we lost them. We shouldn't have left her. There was nothing we could do. You don't know that. I watched the same exact thing happen to Angie. Don't you think I would have done something if I could have? Not to uh, gloss over the death of a friend or anything. But who was the cowboy? No idea. When we first arrived, this old-timey looking guy with a badge found us. Said he bet we were confused and that he could help us make sense out of everything. Tricked Angie into touching that smoke thing. I met him too. He found me right after I woke up. He was asking me all kinds of questions about how I got here and, and then when Levi showed up, he tried to lock us both in that cell. This guy has Daisy and Levi locked up in a cell? No. Different guy. Oh, so one old-timey cowboy has got our friends locked up and a completely different old-timey cowboy is hunting us. Plus, we have smoke monsters. Huh. <sighs> Can this day get any better? Boy, 
the amount of bad you're in for ain't even begun yet. Eh? Now I wouldn't do that. If a sucker punch me again, I'm gonna have to take the head off this little lady. Now, do we understand each other? Yes, sir. We do. Please, mister. You can call me Billy. Please, Mr. Billy. I'm sorry I hate you. We're just all really scared and confused and, and please, I just don't hurt my girlfriend. We'll do whatever you want. Just please don't hurt her. Well, that's more like it. Sorry about that, sugar. Now, why don't you hold on to this? I'm sure it'll make you all feel much safer. Mind you, it don't work in here, but it's the principle of the thing. Now, y'all want to keep clear of those smoky critters, I suggest y'all come with me and keep quiet. You want us to follow you? You can stay here if you want, but it's the last time I'm going to stick my neck out for you, so take it and leave it. Welcome home. It ain't much, but she's mine. You live here? Yeah, if you can call it living. Passing the time would be more like it. But come on, grab a log and flap your gums. It's been a while since I had anyone to talk to. What year is it now? You're Billy Black, aren't you? Well, hell and high water. You recognized me. I can't tell you how long it's been since someone knew recognized me. Daisy said people thought you and your gang ran everyone out of town. Daisy? That the pretty one with the dark hair the sheriff got locked up? Yeah, that's her. Shame. Would love to pass time with her. What's going on here, Billy? You must know something. I mean, you disappeared over a hundred years ago. How are you even still alive? This is town. Land. It ain't just dirt and brush and buildings. The whole place is alive. What do you mean, alive? Like... Like a, like a whale, you know? It's like a fish in the ocean. We all swimming around, thinking everything all dandy and all. And then one day, this big old whale swallows us up. But we're still in water. So we don't know we will swallow. Not right away. That's nearest I can figure about this place. That town. It's alive. And it's hungry. That's how you got here? That's how we all got here. People started disappearing one after another. Then small groups. The town started taking bigger and bigger bites. Damn glutton. Before we knew it, the whole town been swallowed up. So what are those black smoky things? Ah, I call them the teeth. You gotta avoid them. Like I said, we all swimming around inside this wave. Those black things are what chews us up, lets the whale digest us. I run and hide from them. Only way to stay alive. But how are you alive? Like, like you said, you... You had to have been here for over a hundred years. You got me, darling. Time passes different in here. Or don't pass at all, depending on how you look at it. You don't age. You don't get hungry. However you come in is how you stay near as I can figure. So how do we get out? Boy, you think I knew that? I'd still be here? You walk too far in any direction, you find this whole town surrounded by them teeth critters. Now, all you do here is survive. Keep what company you can. Had this lady friend a while back. Made the whole thing almost bearable. Till the sheriff caught her. So what's the sheriff want with our friends? Looking out for his own worthless hide. See, me and him, we're the only ones still stuck in this thing's throat. Whenever new people show up, Sheriff locks them up so he can feed them to the town whenever it looks like she getting hungry. Good thing y'all showed up. He's been hunting me like a bloodhound. 
Must have been getting real hungry. You can't let them do that. We, we gotta help them. Ain't y'all been listening? I tell you, all he wants to feed you to this thing, your first instinct is to run on to the plate and hand him a fork. He's right. Even if we get them, we still don't have a way out of here. I might have an idea. What? We make it sick. When something doesn't agree with you, you vomit it back up. And how you propose to make this big mama sick? Earlier, when you scratched Run into the ground, we heard a sound like this weird groan. If this whole place is inside the creature, then any time we, I don't know, carve into it, damage it, scar it, we might be doing it to the creature. We do enough damage, it might spit us back out. I'm game. It's not like we have any other options. You really think that could work? What do we have to lose? Well, all right. I knew rescuing your asses was a good idea. But how are we going to get Levi and Daisy away from the sheriff? Oh, you leave that to me. Sheriff been wanting a piece of me for a long time. And I want a piece of him for what he done to my gang. Sheriff! I think it's time we talked, you and I. Billy Black, as I live and breathe. It's been a long time, Billy. Lots of people come and gone since you had me locked up in that cage. A lot of good men and women died at your hands. It's called survival, Billy. Let's not pretend you wouldn't have done the same. Think I've proved on more than one occasion. I wouldn't have. You still hung up over that girl I took from you? Her name was Eliza. You tossed her to this thing like a rat to the snake. You may have been all cozy with her, but if push comes to shove, you'd have done the same if it meant saving your own neck. I loved her. Guess you wouldn't know about that, cause you ain't never loved no one but yourself. What you want, Billy? You really want to have it out with me? Nothing I'd like more. Suit yourself. Hey, Sheriff. We need to do more damage. Let's try digging into the ground. That's what got a reaction earlier. This isn't working, Carp. What do we do? Dig, break stuff. I don't know. Pretend you're at a college party. What the hell have you done, Billy? We're getting the heck out a little too few, ain't you? There ain't no way out. Yeah, well, either way, I'm tired of looking at your face. I think it's working. Watch your backs. Little Tooth knows something's up. Look! The teeth are coming. See what you've done, Billy? You done got us all killed! This isn't working, Carp. We're just pissing it off. It's gotta work. It's gotta work. Do we have a, a plan B by chance? Because I think we need to... What happened to Orin? I think it's working. I'll be dipped. Hundred some years. I've never seen anyone get out before. You got smarts, kid. Keep going. Daisy's gone, too. I'm running out of places to run, Carp. Back into the jail. You ain't going nowhere, boy. Mick! 
Help! He's got my leg! Get off my brother, you bastard! Oh, shit! The smoke's got him! Quick! Cove him! For God's sake, help me! You're free! Run! It's got my foot! No, 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 no! There's got to be a way to get you out, Nick! I don't think so, little brother. Shame. This would have made a hell of a movie, huh? I love you, Hanson. I'm sorry. <sighs> Who's left? Just the three of us. I'll make that two. We're not gonna be able to hold it, are we? You love that fellow of yours? Yeah? Yeah, I do. And don't make me regret this. You make sure you love each other right, you hear me? Now get back in the cell and close the door. All right, you great big mama. You took my town. You took my woman. You've been waiting for a piece of me. Here I am, baby. I hope I give you the shits. <laughs> to get out of here. The place is on fire. Tarnation happened to you all. Three rooms, please. Two rooms. I don't really want to be alone if that's all right with you. Two rooms. Oh, and I'm gonna need that deposit back. Now that is dying for your art. <laughs> what, what's that? Oh, can't damn it all. We weren't ready. Tell me you saw that, stranger. You did. Excellent. <laughs> Isn't cat something else? Oh, is your camera still rolling? No? Out of film? More well, double damn it all. Oh well, things as extraordinary as Cat are best experienced in reality. Ah, right you are, and so comes the dawn. Well, stranger, best be on your way now, and if we ever cross paths again, perhaps I'll tell you another tale. Strange Fantasy Show presented Little Tooth. Written by Michael Song. Produced by Ashley Scarborough and Travis Scarborough. Original scores by Travis Scarborough and Descent. The players of tonight's tale are as follows. Trey Miller as Orin. Ashton Simmons as Carp. Dwayne Anthony as Nicholas. Ashley Scarborough as Daisy. Akasha Villalobos as Trisha. Ben Lopez as Levi. Ali Lopez as Marie. Dominica Bowden as Angie. Heath Allen as Billy Black. Michael Song as the Sheriff. And Ty Anderson as Winston. Strange Fantasy Show is copyright 2024, Strange Fantasy Productions, all rights reserved. Any and all characters appearing in this work are fictional, and any resemblance to any persons living or dead is purely coincidental.